Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing my 36 week bump date. Today I'm 36 weeks, one day pregnant. So I'm going to jump into symptoms. <clears throat> I don't know if you can notice, but one of the symptoms is I have a cold this week. Um, my kids and my husband caught a cold and now I have it. Um, my nose has been stuffy and my throat has been hurting. Um, I know my doctor gave me this card of some medications you could take. Over the counter medications, but I just don't want to risk taking anything. So I've just been taking, um, drinking a lot, a lot of water and trying to disinfect everything. Um, another symptom I have been experiencing is, um, this like lightning pain. Um, it's like this pain that I get that shoots down into the crotch area. Um, it's really uncomfortable. I'm just walking around and then I just feel this shooting pain and I like jump it's really uncomfortable. I never experienced it this late in pregnancy. I would always experience it like um, when I was five or six months in my previous pregnancies. Um, but I guess it's probably the position or the movements the baby's doing. I truly don't know, but it's really uncomfortable. Um, another symptom is I lay down in my bed and I just pass out. And I'm not a heavy sleeper, but these this past week is like I lay down and I don't hear not anything and I wake up use the bathroom and go right back to bed um my daughter got caught an ear infection um two nights ago and she was up all night crying and in pain and my husband was the one taking care of her because she usually like when she cries I wake up and go check on her but how I was passed out I didn't hear her my husband got up and um he comes in the room and tells me he's taking her to the hospital because she's crying and i'm like wait when did this all start i didn't hear anything you know and i felt really bad and he's like i didn't want to wake you you were like snoring <laughs> you were passed out and um yeah so that's that's been happening to me i don't know if it's because um before i would go to bed late and i would just wake up late because my kids weren't in school um but now I have to wake up every morning. Sometimes I wake up at 6.30, sometimes at 7. But I can't go past 7 because I have to get my kid, my daughter ready for school. And um, and I've just been going to appointments, three appointments a, a week. And then picking up one kid, dropping off the other one. And it's just been hectic for me. So um, that's another symptom. And other than that, that's pretty much it I haven't experienced any more heartburn um I'm still getting up a lot to use the restroom um and I'm still having uh, as I mentioned in my previous um videos a couple weeks ago that I was having a lot of vaginal discharge and I thought I had infection but the doctor said I didn't have anything that it was just normal I'm still experiencing um the discharge um so I just wear a panty liner and that's pretty much it so um Today I went to get an ultrasound done and they checked my fluid levels and they checked the blood, the oxygen flow to the baby and everything is looking good. Last week on Friday, I think, I had an NST and the doctor seemed concerned because the baby um, wasn't having any acceleration so she did a little ultrasound on me because she was concerned that maybe the baby um, didn't have enough fluid but everything was fine. Um... Next week, I have an ultrasound to um, recheck the baby's growth. And I have a feeling that the baby hasn't grown. And if it hasn't, I have a feeling that they're going to want to induce me because of the, it's this thing called the, um, like, growth restriction that they just, like, stop growing in you. So they deliver you so the baby could finish developing on the outside of the womb. Um, because I haven't gained any more weight. I'm still at 188 and I've been at that for a while. So I haven't gained anything. Um, I hope I'm wrong. You know, I hope the baby's growing. But um, I just have that feeling that the baby isn't growing. And I don't want to be induced next week. I just, I am ready. But at the same time, I'm not ready. It's that my kids just started school. And, um... I don't want them to be missing school this early on because um, I want them to be with me when the baby's born. I had my daughter with me when my son was born. So um, I just I just don't know. I just want the baby to um, stay in there until 
39 weeks or 38 weeks um but if the baby needs to be out well i understand that and yeah so right now uh, i have to go to get an nst um at my doctor's office but i think everything's gonna be good because they checked the baby at the ultrasound clinic today and everything looked fine but they still want to do an nst at my doctor's office so um that's pretty much it i did purchase um a few items um over the weekend um gap had a 40 percent off sale so i picked up a couple items from them i picked up a three pack of onesies their onesies i like their onesies because they're like thick and they're soft but they're quite expensive for a three pack it's like 30 dollars, but they had 40 percent off so um it comes with a white one a pink and a white and pink striped and it's in zero to three months i noticed that i haven't picked up a lot of onesies i have a lot of sleepers and little outfits but not onesies and i like putting onesies like under their pajamas that have like buttons because i feel like the buttons touch their skin and sometimes they're cold so um i like putting onesies under them and then i picked up this little outfit in zero to three months it's a little pants and it has little bows on the back and a top that says when mommy says no way daddy says okay and it's also in zero to three months and then i re um ordered from this company on etsy that um i ordered a gray gray one of these from and i wanted a pink one and i ordered another one a little diaper cover tutu thing in pink with a matching um headband so um yeah that's um what i've picked up so far um i'm gonna show you guys my belly so here's my belly with the shirt let me see if i could show you without the shirt so there is my 36 week belly So, um, see you guys next week and thanks for watching. Bye.